Hello! Welcome to a video. I'll have to make this one short because my camera, for some reason, my iPhone, it uh, stops after nine minutes, so it's going to be a nine minute video. Um, yeah, I, I haven't made a video in a uh, good few weeks now, and we're in, we're in May already. The weather here is raining. Um, I don't know if you can, well you, you can't see the rain, but you can see it's, uh, it looks nice, but it's wet. <laughs> so we'll shut that up again, and um, I'm in the warmth and uh, smoking, or was smoking. Some uh, Royal Jersey Perique mixture by J.F. Germains or Germans, as they're also known. Um, this, as all Germains tobacco now, is going to be um, either loose or um, in a pouch, which is a bit of a shame. I quite like these tins. Perfect for storage. Perfect for um, aging, if you like. I, th if you've got some of these lying around I say ha you know hold on to them not that they're going to be worth a lot of money but certainly perfect for aging yeah I haven't been very well if I'm honest for the last few weeks and that's why I haven't made a video um, uh, it's always the same isn't it when you've got a few days off work you develop a, a cold and uh, that's just the way it goes uh, Nearly at the end of this, sadly. Um, enjoying it. Picked up. It's a Astley's, by the way. Made for them, I believe, by Barling. I'm not 100% sure, but it's a beautiful pipe. Perfect for a flake in there, but I'm smoking that Perique, Royal Jersey Perique mixture. Yeah, it's a lovely pipe. Um, also picked up that one, which is a Cavendish. Uh, Virginia mixture and some Uncle Tom's which is that one which is rather nice as well so yeah all these tins are, are disappearing sadly uh, I went to pick up a tin of uh, Davidoff flake medallions yeah pushing the boat out a bit aren't I and um, I didn't purchase it because they're they're nearly twenty pounds now. That's that's a lot of money, isn't it? Twenty pounds for a tin. Twenty pounds is you know about eighteen dollars, and you know uh, not what it is euro wise, but it's um, certainly you know eighteen dollars for friends in the US. So we're getting nearly. For 50 grams of tobacco, it's a lot of money, isn't it? I, uh. Hmm. So I didn't bother. Um, picked up a pipe. You've seen the, uh. You've seen the Ogden's 100 year, um, celebratory pipe, and I picked up the St. Bruno version which comes in a box similar to the other one with uh, bits and bobs I am um, I love these pipes uh, that's the St Bruno one there's a little St Bruno emblem right there if you can see it no. no. Anyway, lovely pipe. Paid uh, about sixteen pounds for it, which uh, for an unsmoked pipe, I think is pretty good in the box. So I've got both of those now. I don't think they released any more. It was made by Murray Frame and Love, I believe. What year was that? 
99. Yeah, I think it was for the 100 year anniversary of Ogden's Tobacco. So about 99. I've, um, I popped by Southampton the other day. I was taking my son back to uni. And um, I thought I'll get some special blend from Whites. Now, W. Whites is a lovely um, tobacconist in uh, Southampton, run by Clive Fogg. And they've been open since 1910. And um, <clears throat> make Frank's Mixture, which is like a Balkan. And my favourite that they do is um, Special Blend, which is uh, um, a vapour. But unfortunately the shop was closed, so I couldn't buy any. So I was online and spoke to a lovely guy, Chris, who works at the shop. And he's sending me out, hopefully today, 100 grams of Special Blend. So quite excited about that again. Um, uh, Dunhill have released the new Dunhill Tobacco Ye Old Sign. Um, uh, 221B Baker Street and my mixture mellow. Such a sore throat, I'll have to have a drink of coffee. Dunhill Dark Flake is on the way to the UK, but for some reason it hasn't arrived. Um, it's these strange new tins that Dunhill have introduced. They're almost twice the size. They're like the Orlick 100 gram tins, they're that thick. They're huge, they're like this. Um, but inside is only 50 grams of tobacco. So, um, <laughs> it's to put on the new um, warning labels. That's why they did it. Um, it's just nonsensical really, isn't it? But At least we haven't got the worry of when, when did they pull all the Dunhills? About 2008. Suddenly you, the panic was outrageous. Um, people couldn't get Dunhill because they'd stopped releasing it here in the UK. Um, I'm down to 30 pipes, which um, I'm really pleased with. I had 60 and um, I've been selling on eBay um, and I've got rid of I've got rid of 30. Um, I, most of them I very, very rarely use. To be honest, there's only about 10 I do use. Um, and, you know, maybe four or five I use all the time. So to have 60 is just too much. I know some people have got hundreds and hundreds, but I just don't see the point in it. Um, a bit of a mixed bag, really, with eBay. Um, just a word of warning always get proof of postage or get it signed delivery signed for delivery yeah signed for delivery because you don't know if um, people are going to be honest or not anyway the next video is going to be on the chewing tobacco which is the new not new but Stoker's um, L50 which is a clone of Levi Garrett so um I'm coming up to nine minutes now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it there before it cuts me off. I uh, hope everyone's well. Oh, there's the rain if you can hear that. And um, see you all soon. Cheers. <laughs>